This majestic tree is one of South Africa's treasures, but it's in trouble. Known as the Clan William Cedar, it only grows in the Cedarburg Mountains of western South Africa. And although its habitat was declared a protected wilderness area more than 40 years ago, the iconic tree is now critically endangered. Little is known about why the tree has gone into decline, or how rapidly it has been disappearing. To document the Clan William Cedar's decline more fully, and identify ways to slow it, researchers at the University of Cape Town turned to a trove of historical photos taken between the 1930s and 80s. For each of the 87 photos, scientists tracked down their precise locations in the reserve and took new, meticulously matched photos. When they compared the photo pairs, they found that most of the trees in the historical photos no longer existed. Three quarters had died, nearly 1,000 trees. And there were just 41 new trees. Whereas there were more than eight trees on average in each of the earliest photos, now there were less than three. There were also fewer young trees. The decline was steepest over the last half century, in spite of conservation efforts. The researchers then looked to see which environmental factors were most closely associated with tree death, and found that the two strongest drivers were fire frequency and higher temperatures. More surviving Clan William cedars were at higher elevation, where it is wetter and cooler, and at rockier sites, which provide some measure of protection from fire. East-facing slopes also seemed to impart advantages. The findings suggest the Clan William cedar will face an uphill battle in the future, as the climate becomes hotter and drier, and fires become more frequent. But the results also point to ways to help the tree thrive, including providing the evergreens special fire protection and planting seedlings in the high rocky outposts that give the tree its best shot at survival.